Hey guys, it's Toasty here. You may remember me as the guy who made YouTube videos, and if you follow my Twitter at all, you may know that I've still been making videos, or at least trying to. You see, I keep picking up and dropping video ideas. I've already gone through two of them, and while I may come back to them later, I figured that I needed to make a video just on what I wanted to make a video on, regardless of whether or not it's a really popular subject. To prove to myself that I'm more than just a few Roblox iceberg videos. And so, this is a video about how to with John Wilson. You most likely have never heard of it, but How To with John Wilson is a show that aired on HBO in late 2020. The basic premise of it, and where the basic elevator pitch for the comedy aspect lies, is that John Wilson will take a simple question, such as how to improve your memory, for example, and spends the episode searching across New York, and sometimes the entire US attempting to answer the question. Of course, the question never gets answered in the traditional sense, and hijinks ensue. But where the real greatness of the show lies is in the people and the city, which is uh, New York in this case. You see, John Wilson takes his camera with him everywhere, and he, unlike me, is not afraid to notice things. He's not afraid to film them. And in the city of New York, there are a lot of things to notice. But it's not even the crazy things that are worth noticing. Sometimes it's just two people enjoying their day. Or sometimes it's just a loaf of bread tied to a subway pole. New York is a weird city full of weird people, but each one of these people have lives. They go places, they do things, they have hopes and dreams, they all think differently than the next guy, and sometimes, sometimes we get to understand that just by listening to them. And trust me, when you point a camera at someone, they usually want to talk about anything they can. She had very, very good taste, my ex-wife, soon to be ex-wife. She liked Prada, Givenchy, and everything else. And I fell for it. <laughs> and that's the joy of how to people watching or specifically watching a person along with watching things change i think the episode that does this best is episode two how to put up scaffolding in this episode john explores scaffolding and how it's affected the city throughout the episode he explores how scaffolding has affected new york and how its residents feel about it Scaffolding may not have been something you've spent too much time thinking of, but the way it's presented in this episode, it's, it's like a parasite spreading throughout the city, tainting the landscape. Some people have learned to live with it and use it for their benefit, while others struggle to fight against it every day. It's a dynamic completely unique to the city it's in. If you've ever watched Nathan For You, uh, you know that a lot of the comedy comes from Nathan interacting with people that actually turn out to be weird or eccentric characters. Have you drank your grandson's pee? Yeah. Why? I was scared. What do you mean you were scared? Yeah, sometimes you're scared for, for something. You what are know, you talking sudden about? Accident or something, you drink the grandson's pee and it's gonna help you. How to is quite the same. And this is made clear when John talks to a man about his sexual experiences with scaffolding. He had scaffolding set up on the side of his house. It was in Hawaii. He left me outside when it rained. That was interesting. It's like this? Yep. Yep. But picture, um, of course, without clothes, because, like I said, he was a nudist. Like, I don't get how this conversation started or why this man thought he'd share such a personal experience, but he did. And that happens a lot on this show, and it's amazing. <laughs> Anyways. Later on in the episode, uh, John goes to New Orleans for a scaffolding convention. Yes, they have those. To get more perspective on scaffolding. Besides the almost poetic irony that the town they chose to have the scaffolding convention in has no scaffolding, this segment is interesting for how we see the scaffolding humanized. Scaffolding, which up to this point in the episode has been a force, now has people behind it whose lives depend on this business. They live and breathe scaffolding and they want to improve scaffolding and they view it as art and wow, how can I be so passionate about scaffolding? <laughs> and then we meet this guy who buys and sells scaffolding. The conversation with this dude is short and it goes as follows. Do you think there's such a thing as too much scaffolding? Uh, no. Why not? It's where I make my living. There can never be too much scaffolding. Roll it out. And, and, and here comes my favorite part of the episode. As John and this dude part ways, 
we actually see him again later on, half drunk, trying to get into strip clubs so he can waste the rest of his evening in bliss. This is scaffolding. This is people. Well, this is a single person who spends his day like that. And we would have never known if it wasn't for this show, or this episode, this clip. And then we see the change. We see how scaffolding has grown in New York. Looking at shots of famous buildings in older movies compared with how they look now, covered in scaffolding. We see how people are trying to change scaffolding in an attempt to make it look more modern. We see the Hard Rock Hotel that was discussed earlier crumble to the ground and how people are dealing with that change. This episode isn't the change episode, but we definitely see the theme of change throughout. Uh, there's a clip from like the only interview I think John's ever given about how to with Jimmy Kimmel. And uh, I'm, I'm just going to play it. The idea, you start with a topic, and I don't know if you, if you go back to the topic, and be, but you start with the topic, and it often veers in a completely different direction. For instance, uh, one of the shows is uh, about seat covering, plastic seat covering, which being from an Italian family, I've been stuck to many, many <laughs> times. Um, and then it, it just go, it goes, uh, you meet people and then it goes off into uh, a visit at home with a man who's devoted his life to reversing circumcisions, correct? Correct, Jimmy. Yes. And that's exactly what it is. There's not a single better example of people watching than that. It's impossible. This is watching people. Okay, um, I just want to talk about one more episode before we finish up this video, and that's the last episode, at least for now, How to Cook the Perfect Risotto. This episode leans much more on the change part of my thesis, and you'll see why. It still has that aspect of people watching. In this episode, John literally just walks into someone's house and they cook risotto for him, and then he talks about his theories on alien impregnation. There were the, the, the aliens, like... Well, we, I, I think we are, we have definitely been... My dear? We have been uh, impregnated by, uh, we have some, uh, we are actually aliens. And then John follows a man with the exhaust thingy, uh, the, uh, his exhaust pipe makes a lot of smoke. And they talk about pollution and his truck's effect on the planet. Um, what would you say to someone that would like to see this practice kind of banned? Um, I think the only reason they'd want it to be banned would be pollution. <laughs> Which, I guess if you're all about pollution, I, I, but the thing is, everything makes pollution. Like, anything that you, if you go to Walmart and buy a bag of chips, that's plastic, that's made, that's pollution. That's, it's been made from something. Uh, there's been pollution made to make that bag of chips or whatever you're buying. So, it's that person gonna give up everything that they do in their normal life? Are they gonna not get in the car? Are they not gonna go to Walmart and buy whatever? Uh, whenever I can, I don't know. That, it's hard to say. Uh, it, I don't know, I don't, it's, I'm trying to think of a good response. But once John Wilson comes back from those encounters, things are different. The bus is empty. There are tissues on the sides of cars. People are talking about a virus. When did this episode come out? Oh. This episode documents the greatest change in recent history, and it's interesting to see what people were saying at the time, when things were going towards their worst. When are you guys gonna open back up? Uh, you think when the city approves it? Yeah. That's, that's as far as we, you know. And I don't know, nothing's ever going to hit me the same as uh, this scene where John just walks to the end of the line at the store and he keeps walking for a really long time and uh, yeah, and he keeps walking for a long time past a lot of people with very full carts. I don't know. What started as a normal episode became an important look at the change that was occurring and how we dealt with it as a society and as individual people. I've never really seen anything like it. And so, How To With John Wilson is a show about the art of people watching. 
watching how they go about their lives day by day, watching how they react to change, and watching a small bit of their stories unfold. So next time you're out, look at the people around you. You never know what you may see. I'm sorry if this isn't the kind of video you expected to get after waiting so long, and I'm sorry it's uh, on the short side. I just felt the strong need to make this. There should be more videos on a more consistent basis from now on, but I hope you enjoyed at least this video. But I should go now, so this has been Toasty, I'm glad you're here, and uh, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.